Toyota has been selling the Mirai since 2014. The car giant has only sold about 4,000 of these hydrogen fuel cell powered cars. But Toyota's chairman is convinced the fuel cell will be the technology that drives tomorrow's emission free vehicles. There are two main points we need to consider. First, how to realize a low carbon society to create a society with less CO2 emissions. The second point is to ensure a stable energy supply for the future. In this light, hydrogen holds tremendous potential. A fuel cell mixes hydrogen with the oxygen in the air to generate electricity that can power a motor. There is no exhaust gas. The only byproducts are electricity, heat and water. Hydrogen certainly has more convenience for users than electric cars. The driving range is longer, and it takes the same amount of time to fill up with hydrogen as it does to fill up with gasoline cars. More convenient in theory, but in fact there were only a handful of hydrogen gas stations in the United States, and they are much more expensive than electric or hybrid automobiles. It seems possible that if it could be um, streamlined into a more affordable uh, and mass-producible um, technology, then it, it might be able to catch on. But it's hard to say because our society is so deeply entrenched in what we already know, which is you know gasoline and electric. Toyota says it wants to sell 30,000 hydrogen-powered cars a year by 2020. Its ultimate goal is to cut car emissions by 90 percent compared to 2010 levels by 2050. Kevin Enix, VOA News.